All right, folks, time to learn what's happening this weekend. Minnesota Live executive producer Mike Marka joins us. You know everything happening this weekend. I what's do, and there's a lot going yeah. on. Yes, good morning, Megan and Chris, uh, and good morning to all of you at home. And, uh, you know, if you look outside, there's not much snow, but there no. are a couple places around the state that do have snow. The ski resorts. So let's start at Taylor's Falls uh, at Wild Mountain. They're hosting a van full, that's what they describe it, of professional skiers this Saturday, and they want you, yes you, Chris Eggert, to come ski with them. To go ski with the pros. Yeah, go Fun. ski with the pros. And Fun. how embarrassing would that be? Like you, are you a good skier, Chris? No, no. Megan? <laughs> No. No, I'm not either. I haven't you? skied since like fourth grade when yeah. he did the day at, you know, the Trollhagen in West, Western Wisconsin. So Andy Perry, we, you just saw him in the video. He's a pro skier, and he hosts this Tell a Friend tour, and they go to smaller oh. mountains all around the country, mm -hmm. yeah. and they just say, hey, we're a bunch of pro skiers, and we want you to come skiing with us. And they were out yesterday at Afton Alps. Today they're at Welch Village. Saturday they're going to be at Wild Mountain. And they uh, just say, come on, ski or snowboard with us. They give away gear from their sponsors. And then at the end of the day, they host a free pizza party. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Yeah, how fun. So yeah. if you're looking to go skiing, it'd be a great weekend to go do it. Um, it's kind of cooler pros, outside, yeah. so you won't yeah. sweat through your snow pants, right? right? There you go. Uh, so uh, there you go. You can go check that out today at Welch Village in Welch, and then tomorrow at Wild Mountain up in Taylor's Falls. Uh, and that fourth grade ski pass. You, I know, did you, kids, you, you did it for your kids, right? No, we didn't do the ski pass. We did the National Parks Pass. Oh, that's fifth grade. That's fifth grade. All you parents out there. Um, so uh, we have a fourth grader in my house. If you have a fourth grader at home, there's a Minnesota ski pass, and you can sign up your fourth grader online and they can get a free ski pass for most, if not all, of the ski resorts here in the state of Minnesota. That's so great deal. Google yeah. it. It's super easy. Yeah, and you get to go skiing all winter for free if you have a fourth grader in your house. That's so cool. make sure you check that out. Uh, so that's happening uh, on Saturday in Taylor's Falls. Also this weekend. Are you talking golfing? Uh, absolutely. People are already golfing outside, so we might as well host a golf show at the convention center in downtown Minneapolis. The Minnesota Golf Show runs through Sunday. It's the largest golf show in the upper Midwest, 100,000 square feet. That is a lot of golf. 80 exhibitors with virtual ranges, and you can just actually just kind of shoot some golf clubs and balls right there. Dude, the technology in the golf game has just mm -hmm. gotten crazy, crazy yeah. in the last several years. So. Well, Go and we were at Lauren and Drago was at Pars 365 a yeah. few weeks ago oh, yeah. here on the yeah. show in Roseville. That's a really cool spot. But you can go to the convention center. Tickets are $14 at the door. Get this, Megan and Chris. Buying one $14 ticket gets you 14 free greens fee passes thanks to TwinCitiesGolf.com. And they're all around the state of Minnesota. Take a look at your screen. So if you buy one ticket, yeah. mm -hmm. you get greens fee passes to all of those little dots on your wow. screen. And it goes all the way from Lake City through Montgomery up to Glencoe and all the way to Grand Rapids. Wow. And what a great deal for someone who's just getting into the game, yeah. right? And yes. see different parts of the Absolutely. Different, different courses, courses. they've been to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. So you can buy Very tickets cool. online or you can buy them at the door. The Minnesota Golf Show presented by Hubbard Radio Score North. Again, at the convention center. All right. Um, did you take your kids to Disney on Ice when they were younger? Chris How is giving times? me a face. I don't think so. Many I don't, times? I don't remember. No, I don't think so. Liam no. McLean and I took our girls. Oh, that's sweet. One that's very together. delightful. Yeah. Yeah. It's very fun. That's uh, me and my crew, Cody and Noah and Maya. When we went to the last time, it was here in town. Uh, and the beautiful part about Disney on Ice at Target Center is that everyone has a pretty intimate seat, and it's right there. And you can actually get spots literally on the ice. Oh, wow. And it's back in town this weekend, Friday through Sunday at Target Center. It features the stories of Frozen 2 this time, so Anna, Elsa, and Olaf, plus an Kanto, uh, Aladdin goes to the Cave of Wonders, and we check in with Princess and the Frog. You get that story. Nice. Uh, I've been told it's the most Disney stories ever for a Disney on Ice show. Well, talk about keeping kids' interest, right? Oh, yeah. gosh, it's going mean, to fly. When you're talking about these shows and you're condensing them into, like, 10- or 12-minute performances. Exactly. They gotta yeah. 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 Uh, the show features uh, dancers, uh, skaters, Right here from Minnesota, homegrown dancers and skaters. Nice. So uh, it's really exciting for them to be back in town at home. Uh, it also debuts the stars from the newest Disney movie, Wish, which came out oh, around yeah. Thanksgiving. I haven't so seen that one yet. Yeah, I haven't either. Um, Chris, you and Kate? No, we didn't catch that one. <laughs> 
weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, right? it, it could happen. Maybe. Tickets to Disney and I start at $20. Uh, and so it's rather reasonable. And you don't need to go to Disney World to get a photo with the characters. So they're offering a pre-show character experience with Elsa and Mirabelle. Ooh. So you can add that onto your ticket if you'd like as well. Nice. Cool. And all kinds of fun things to buy on the concourse. Oh, too. boy. And oh, are they sure. not <laughs> inexpensive? They are very expensive, moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas. But the kids will love them. Oh, but the kids, oh, yeah, they have to have them. Finally, this weekend, an 80s-themed comedy show is happening Saturday night in Chaska. It's a full lineup of comedians who reflect back about the decade that brought us shoulder pads, neon, and big hair. Oh, uh, they jam. Yeah, oh, boy. And all the music, the movies... That's all happening. Uh, they encourage you to dress up in 80s attire if you go. It's at the American Legion. Sweet. In Chaska. Fantastic. I bet it's an awesome place. Oh, I bet it is, too. It starts at 7.30 p.m. It's presented by Yellow Brick Comedy. Tickets, $15. You can buy them online. Sounds fun. Yeah, sounds very fun. Yeah, 80s night. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Uh, Get your neon headbands out, yeah, people. Right? Your jelly shoes. It's all fashion. Your leg warmers. Fashion cycles around. I may have them those all. Are our, See, those are our glory go. days, Mike. <laughs> yes, that's right. All right. Uh, details of all these events happening this weekend. Find that at minnesotalive.com. All right. We are taking you live this morning to Ely. Much more Minnesota Live right after this.